I'm going to teach you how to get the old Roblox cursor back. This includes both the 2013 and 2006 cursor. This method is the easiest one and also is completely free. This works in every game and continues working even after Roblox updates. Alright, so for the first step, it's pretty simple. Basically, what you need to do is you need to go to this link in the description. Basically, you'll come to this page and you can ignore all of this. It really doesn't matter. The main thing that you need to do is is really simple you have to go over here to the releases on the side and you have to just click right here okay so it'll take you to this page which is the latest version for whatever time you're in because you clicked on the releases and basically what you need to do now is you need to just click the exe file here which will basically download it there'll probably be information uh, you can scroll down to that this is this will basically always be at the bottom so you just have to click here and it will download okay so once it's done downloading we can go ahead and open it up now when launching the file you might run into this problem which is windows protected your pc all you need to do is click more info and then run anyway this is just because it's not verified by microsoft but it's still not a virus i've used this many times and so have other youtubers and other people so now you'll basically be popped out this menu is really simple all you have to do is go to mods and right here you can see a bunch of things you can see like use order so you get the oof back you can even change the emojis add fonts the main reason we're here is for the mouse cursor so basically just click here where it says default and you'll be given two options the 2013 angular one and the 2006 cartoony one all right so first of all we're going to try the 2006 one so i clicked it and now what we're going to do is click install also another really cool thing you can do is you can go to the icon and you can basically just set this to whatever icon you want and uh, it's not going to just really change everything but you'll see what it does we do latest 2015 and we also change the style to legacy 2011 to 2014 actually i'm going to do progress 2014 and we'll see how that looks okay as you see this is how it will look when we're joining the game this is how the legacy one looks though we're going to be using this one so the progress 2014 anyway i'm just going to be clicking install now and it'll come with this menu it'll tell you a few things you can read this if you want and just click install after you're done okay so it would start installing where it looks like this as you can see we even set it to this so it'll look like that okay so just join any game you want to and i'm just gonna be joining this game just as a testing game is what i usually use in my videos as you can see it even comes with this old roblox menu that we selected anyway now that we've joined in we can see we have the cursor uh it's the old roblox cursor it's fully working we can click on stuff uh you can see it all works all right now what i'm going to show you is how to change the settings so what we need to do is you need to go to windows and we need to search for block strap now you need to make sure you go to the block strap menu and not play roblox or any other block strap file just the block strap menu all right and then once you're here we just basically the same thing we can go to the mods mouse cursor. So i'm going to change to the 2013 one this time we're going to click save and it's really just that simple it'll be done so now if we go back to roblox as you can see we're loading it up again everything is working and now we have the old roblox cursor you see we got the 2013 one fully works you can click on stuff and even if roblox updates you'll still have it so that's the great thing about blockstrap now the final thing i'm going to show you is how to uninstall blockstrap if you don't want to use it anymore for whatever reason or if it breaks your roblox so all you have to do is search for blockstrap in your thing it will come up with the blockstrap menu so all you have to do is once it's here you have to go to uninstall on windows 10 you can also just right click and click uninstall it'll pop up with this menu and it shows a lot of different programs you have installed but as we can see block straps here you can also use the search if you want to look for where it is all right so once you select it you need to right click you click uninstall then it will just uninstall as simple as that you can close out you click ok you can also get rid of the exe file if you need to all you have to do is right click and delete and just like that block strap will be fully uninstalled so you can go back to playing roblox and it'll work if anything broke for you Alright, thanks for watching. If you need any help with anything, just comment it in the description. And make sure to subscribe and like the video if it actually worked for you. Click on the left video and you can go to see how to make your own custom cursor on Roblox with any text you want. Or click on the right video to go to the video YouTube recommends for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.